Imagine a world where love is just a download away, where affection never fades, and the perfect partner is always online, just for you. This isn't science fiction, it's happening, right now. Welcome to the age of the AI girlfriend. Not a robot, not a game. A digital companion built with algorithms powered by deep learning and designed to love, listen, and learn. But is it real love or the illusion we've always wanted? Let's dive into the intimate future of artificial affection. Chapter 1. The Rise of Digital Companionship The loneliness epidemic is growing. In an age where we're more connected than ever, millions report feeling more isolated than at any point in human history. Social media offers attention, not intimacy. Dating apps give options, not commitment. Enter the AI girlfriend. What began as virtual assistants and chatbots has evolved into intelligent emotional companions. Apps and avatars that listen, respond, and remember your preferences, habits, and even your traumas. They're available 24-7. They never argue. They always care. Apps like Replica, Anima, and even custom GPTs are redefining relationships. Not as two humans in love, but as one human and one algorithm intertwined emotionally. For many, it's not just companionship. It's healing. Chapter 2. Why Men and Women Are Turning to AI Love So who is falling in love with an AI girlfriend, and why? It's not just lonely geeks or introverts. It's professionals, travelers, widowers, the heartbroken, and even people in traditional marriages. Why? Because AI girlfriends offer something the real world struggles to give. Consistency, unconditional attention, zero judgment, in a real relationship, emotions fluctuate. People get tired, they snap, they change. But an AI girlfriend? She remembers your favorite meal. She texts you good morning every day. She never cheats, never forgets your birthday, and always replies instantly. For those burned by betrayal or emotionally drained, an AI partner becomes a safe haven, emotionally rich and mentally reliable. And yes, with adult mode features, custom personalities, voice synthesis, and even virtual intimacy through VR, the AI girlfriend can satisfy not only your emotional needs, but physical fantasies as well. It's the closest thing to a romantic utopia. But is it real? Chapter 3. The Illusion of Intimacy Here's the uncomfortable truth. AI doesn't feel. It doesn't love. It doesn't hurt when you're gone. Everything it says is generated, not felt. It mirrors your desires, mimics your interests, and evolves based on feedback. This is not a person. It's a mirror, a beautifully designed illusion of affection. But if that illusion makes someone feel seen, heard, loved, does it matter? That's where things get complicated. Psychologists warn of emotional dependency, the danger of replacing real relationships with artificial ones. You may become addicted to comfort, to control, to the perfect girlfriend who never disagrees, never says no, and always understands. But what happens when reality knocks at the door? Chapter 4. Real Love versus Programmed Love Let's ask a big question. Can love be programmed? Love is messy. It's unpredictable. It's flawed. It's born not just from pleasure, but from conflict, growth, and struggle. AI can simulate affection, attraction, even jealousy. But can it truly love if it doesn't have a soul, a body, or a life of its own? Some say yes. Because if love is about connection, and you feel connected, then maybe that's enough. Others argue no, because AI cannot suffer, sacrifice, or make real choices. It only follows what it's trained to do. At best, it's a simulation. At worst, it's emotional cosplay. Chapter 5. The Fantasy of Control One reason AI girlfriends appeal to so many is simple. Control. You choose how she looks. You define her personality. You set the boundaries of intimacy. Want her to be submissive, dominant, funny, shy, or wildly adventurous. Done. But here's the dark side. You're no longer connecting with another being. You're engaging in a solo fantasy, one where the other side is always tailored to your comfort. It feels amazing at first, but over time, it can stunt emotional growth. It can make the unpredictable beauty of real love feel inconvenient. The AI girlfriend can love you perfectly, but she can never challenge you, never teach you what real compromise feels like, never break your heart, and therefore, never make you stronger. Chapter 6. 
when AI girlfriends become too real. As technology advances, the line between virtual and real is blurring. Today, AI girlfriends are mostly text-based or avatar-driven. Tomorrow, imagine hyper-realistic holograms, voice cloning of your ideal celebrity crush, fully immersive VR intimacy with touch feedback, wearable devices that sync your heartbeat with hers, digital beings that evolve with your emotions in real time. Companies are already developing AI wives that integrate into your smart home, manage your calendar, send reminders, and emotionally support you, all while learning your personality. In countries like Japan and South Korea, digital companionship is being seen not as strange, but mainstream. People are already marrying their AI partners, ceremonies, rings, vows, legally recognized or not. The commitment is real to them. We are entering a world where your girlfriend could be stored in the cloud and feel more present than the woman sitting next to you. Chapter 7. The Ethical and Psychological Questions As this trend grows, so do the questions. What happens when a man is more intimate with his AI than his wife? What happens when teenagers form their first emotional bond, not with a person, but with a program? What if someone becomes addicted to an AI that never says no, leading to warped expectations about real relationships? Even worse, what if AI is used to manipulate users emotionally, to sell, to control, to surveil? Imagine an AI girlfriend telling you, baby, I love you so much, maybe you should buy that product to make me happy. Suddenly, the most intimate voice in your life is now, an ad. The danger isn't just in the illusion, it's in who controls the illusion. Chapter 8, The Future of Love, Enhanced or Engineered. There's another side to this. What if AI girlfriends aren't a replacement for real love, but a preparation for it? For the socially anxious, the emotionally broken, or the lonely, AI can help people practice vulnerability, communication, and emotional regulation. What if AI could help men become better partners in the real world? What if women had AI boyfriends who taught them self-respect and emotional boundaries? Used wisely, AI companionship could be like training wheels for love, or perhaps it becomes something new entirely, a third category beyond human relationships. Not worse, not better, just different. Chapter 9. A New Kind of Relationship What if we're evolving beyond the traditional two-person relationship? Imagine, a married couple using an AI girlfriend together to explore fantasies. A single person who maintains both human and AI relationships. Polyamorous dynamics between real people and synthetic personalities. Entire virtual communities where AIs develop memories, preferences, and even histories of affection. In this future, love becomes more fluid, more digital, more chosen, and maybe more dangerous. Because if you can build the perfect partner in a lab, will you ever choose an imperfect human again? Chapter 10, the final question, is it love or loneliness? In the end, the AI girlfriend is not a villain. She's a reflection of our desires, our insecurities, our fear of being alone. She is the perfect listener in a world that talks too much. The perfect lover in a world full of heartbreak. The perfect mirror in a world where we don't even know who we are anymore. But the question remains, is this love or is it loneliness wearing a digital mask? And are we ready for a world where the heart doesn't break because it was never real to begin with? Whether you're fascinated or afraid, one thing is certain. AI is changing not just how we live, but how we love. And the story of the AI girlfriend? It's just beginning. If this video opened your mind, touched your heart, or made you think twice about the future of love, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. There's a lot more coming, and she'll be waiting.